Hello class members, my name is Megan and I am going to tell you about the organizer position for a youth program um, with the Youth Leadership Institute. I found this mainly in the um, state of California, but the I don't, I don't actually know anybody in the field currently, but I thought that it would be an interesting um, occupation to look at so that we could understand what it would entail to, to be involved in something like this outside of the church, outside of our youth programs, but in a program that is run by a government or a county um, organization. Um, so this type of position, as you would expect, is very hands-on with youth um, that have signed up for the program. And um, the time that you would spend at work would be um, split between like an office situation and um, being out and about with the youth and helping them to make connections to um, to initiate their programs within the community. Um, as you can probably imagine, the hours then would be really long and you know, you'd have a lot of details to oversee. Um, typical stressors in this environment would be um, the fact that you're trying to let youth lead these programs and teach them how to make connections in their community with other leaders. But at the same time, you have to guarantee that things still happen and that everything gets done um, to an acceptable standard. You would also build those relationships with the youth to the point that, you know, they would they would be involved in your life and you would be involved in theirs. You know, you're becoming a mentor to them and helping them um, battle the stresses of their everyday life. And so, you know, I would imagine that you would be getting phone calls and Facebook messages and text messages and emails all the time from people. Um, so it, it seems like it's a position that would entail a lot of time devoted to these kids. Um, but in the same, same breath, I think that you would get a lot out of it too. There would be a lot of reward as you see these kids um, just expand their their ideas of what they're capable of and what what it is that they can accomplish in life. Um, so I think that's that's kind of one of those benefits. I, I couldn't find any actual health benefits connected to this, but a lot of these positions are done through um, city or government or county government or state government um, programs. And so you would therefore be inclined to um, the benefits that the government is offering, which I don't think they're that great. Um, my dad used to work for the government and the health benefits were okay, but not wonderful. And so it would, it would definitely be a position that, that you would want to find out what the benefits are offered up front before you commit to anything. And then if you need to look at potential additional coverage, doing that before you accept a position and understanding how much that's going to cost you um, month to month. Some common job tasks with this position would be, um, besides being in contact with kids all the time, but you would also be responsible to manage the media and press coverage for the campaigns that the youth begin and start up. Um, you'd be using social media a lot to connect with the youth and to spread the word of the campaigns throughout your community. You would be in charge of recruiting and training youth um, that would that would benefit from a program like this and also who would be able to help those other kids that join the program. Um, you would be responsible to report on the progress of the goals that the program has set and the objectives that have been met or haven't been met. And you would maintain um, supervisory logs and track the youth and the staff. Um, the educational requirements that I found with this were just a bachelor's degree um, and three to six years of experience working with youth um, they also asked for experience facilitating and organizing um, campaigns and having project management experience. Those were really like the big things that stood out to me in order to gain this type of a position. So you'd have to put in a couple years in advance um, of just working with youth, which I think that a lot of times we're able to gain that with um, our work in the church. The starting salary on this was 42000 and the experience salary was 52000 So it seemed like a pretty good job. Granted, this was again in California, in San Francisco specifically. So the cost of living there is really a lot higher than Utah. And so 
and that's where I live. So 42,000 in California is not going to get you a lot. Um, but I think that if this was like a job that you did as a second income in your house, that it would be phenomenal. Um, or if you just understood that you were going to have to live on a really tight budget, then, you know, it would be awesome too. Um, I think that this type of career could easily lead to other public service positions focusing on families. Uh, as you as you get your foot in the door with government and you work with people closely, y names tend to spread around that circle really well and easily. And this is one of those positions that as you're, you're working with a large group of youth um, and you're reporting to like the chief operating officer of um, the San Francisco office, names are going to get thrown around and new opportunities are going to present themselves and you would have to decide which path you would want to go down and have an influence on or not. Um, so, you know, as the youth would go through this program and graduate on, a person would likely be in continued contact with them through the relationships that you've built and th that person's influence then would ripple out into the community and the families affected by the program. And that's my position.